IEA, that's the International Energy Agency, says America will become the world's largest oil producer as soon as this year. However, our next guest says not so fast. Production will not grow as fast as people are predicting. Mark Papa is with us, CEO of Centennial Resource Development, and he is, by the way, a pioneer in the shale oil boom. All right, Mark. I always thought that these frackers, you good guys, you bailed America out, we would just keep on growing production because we got a lot of oil to frack. What's the problem? Good morning, Stuart. Yeah, it's just a matter of degree. Uh, my prediction is what's going to happen with U.S. oil production is on the low end of, of the range of estimates, certainly lower than what the IEA or the uh, Department of Energy would estimate. Uh, I believe that... Uh, we're going to see a, a maturation of some of our major shale fields, such as the Eagleford and the Bakken Shale, which is in North Dakota, and that uh, for 2018, 2019, and 2020, the amount of oil production that, that emanates from these shales is going to be a bit disappointingly low. We're still going to be the largest oil producer in the world during those time frames, uh, besting Saudi Arabia and Russia. but. The amount of oil is probably going to be about 850,000 barrels a day per year growth. And that contrasts with the estimates that the IEA and others have, which is about 1.4, 1.5 million barrels a day. Well, what's wrong with going after the oil in the Marcellus shale deposit, which stretches from Pennsylvania all the way through upstate New York? Now, we're not fracking in New York at this point. But, you know, that could change, and that's an enormous deposit of oil. Yeah, the, the Marcellus is primarily a, a gas zone, uh, and it is an enormous shale play, and it's going to generate large volumes of natural gas, which is a great benefit to the nation. But it only has a very marginal influence on the U.S. oil production, Stuart. Okay. Well, if you're right... And if we don't get all this extra production that we've been kind of counting on, then maybe the price of oil will go up because world demand is pretty strong. You say to, what do you say to that? Yeah, you, you hit the nail right on the head. Uh, demand for oil globally has been very robust. In fact, it's exceeded almost everybody's estimate each year for the last five years. And so if I'm right and the volume of U.S. shale oil disappoints versus estimates for the next three years, then that will put an upward bias to global oil prices. Do you think we can get back to $100 a barrel? No, I, I'm, uh, I'm not there. I, but I think, you know, we, we, we would likely see $70, perhaps $75 a barrel uh, two or three years out versus the current $61 a barrel. Okay. Mark, look... Um I always think that American frackers and the drilling guys, I think you are American heroes. You've made us energy dominant. I've got to say I'm a little disappointed that we're not going to keep on producing more and more and more and get that price way down. But you're an expert in this field. You know what you're talking about. And thanks for informing us this morning.